Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the order what I see through some study and prayer line on this um, 10th day in March. Um, 2023. Gene, I thought his the, the court was on the uh, 18th. Call me this morning. It's on the 10th, huh? It's today? I hope you're sure about that. Anyway, Matty Yahoo's in the building. My big brother's up in here. I see Big Sean up in here as well. We got Yosef holding it down faithfully. That's what he do. Faithfully holding down the conference line. We got my mom in here as well. Uh, we got uh, Melissa up in here as well. Al Mal, my pal up in here as well. Beverly, Beverly, good to see you in here as well. We got Nicole Robinson in the house. We got Teresa in the building. Hallelujah. 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 Taylor in the building. What's up with it? Keisha. As y'all chiming in, I see the let the tag games begin, huh? Poker toe, poker toe, Wilkins. Good to see you in here. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, mother. <clears throat> Good to see everybody in here. Y'all know what it is. Uh, Flesh in the Law, Part 5. It's all the way five, y'all. Nicole Robinson, you know what it is. We're going back to uh, Genesis, the third chapter, just to peek at it again. JB, what it be, man? Good to see you in here. Trisha Johnson. Hallelujah. I just want y'all to peek at this one more time. Six verse. This is the problem. Barbara, faithful. Good to see you in here. Twice. If I said it once, I didn't say it twice. What's up with it, family member? Flesh and the law, part five. Galatians 3, 6. Look what it say. It says, and the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Right? Lust of the flesh. And that it was pleasant to the eye. Lust of the eye. And the tree to be desired to make one wise. Pride of life. She took. That's all it take. You sinning after that. Right? Don Deems, good to see you in here. Pantana. Boca Tove, good to see you in here. Law in the Flesh, part five. Uh, Genesis 3, 6. Y'all saw that? Lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Those three, you got that, you sinning. You're going against Yah. Death is in. Death is on the scene. Six verse. <clears throat> and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm -hmm, less of the flesh, and that it was pleasant to the eye, less of the eye, and the tree to make, desire to make one wise, pride of life. And she took of the fruit uh, of flesh in the law, part five. This one, the subtitle is uh uh this one ah uh, flesh condition flesh condition flesh condition this time uh uh Taylor Bree in the building that's the isom good to see y'all in here Boca Tov uh 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 Galatians I mean I mean Genesis three six flesh condition Yep, yep, there you go, sis. All right, look. And when she saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit and did eat and gave also to her husband with her and he did eat. Boom, we got a problem. So let's look at it. Seven verse then reveals, right? It says, 
and the eyes of them both were open. That was bad. That that that's it right there. And the eye and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. They had been naked the whole time, but now they see something. That this is bad. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Okay, so they were under the influence of Yah's word until then. When their eyes was open, now they're under the influence of themselves. They're under the influence of their fallen nature. Yeah, right here. Yah didn't tell them to go sow nothing. Right? They're, they're out of fellowship with eternal life. They're out of fellowship with the word of Yah because the word of Yah is eternal life. They're out of fellowship. They see, they perceive. Look, they got a way of looking at things. Things smell a certain way. Things taste a certain way. Things sound a certain way. Things feel a certain way. But it's not coming from the most high. Niece, good to see you in here, Caitlin. Are y'all with me? The Law and the Flesh, part five. Subtitle, Flesh Condition. Look at the flesh condition they in. This, 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 this is the condition they in. Are y'all with me? Trinda, good to see you in here. This is the condition they in. Law in the Flesh, Part 5. Subtitle, Flesh Condition. Genesis 3-7. And the eyes of them both were open. Not in a good way, though. And they knew that they were naked. That wasn't good. They've been naked. They used to be innocent. They used to see nakedness the way y'all saw it. Now, now it ain't cool no more. Now they now they independent agents. They making decisions now. And, and, and they sold fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Y'all did not tell them to do that. Now they independent agents. Now they now they working in existence that's evil. Independent of the creator. They separate now. Are <laughs> oh, y'all with me? So the A first then says, Banks, good to see you in here. Law in the flesh, part five. Subtitle, flesh condition. So in their flesh condition now, the A first then reveals, and they heard the voice of Yah walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yah. Amongst the trees in the garden. The word, notice it said the voice. The voice of Yah, the word of Yah was walking in the garden. They ran from the word. Them and the word ain't on the same page no more. Are y'all with me? <laughs> with, with that being said, now y'all understand Jeremiah. Let's go to it. 17. Better. You should. <laughs> 17. Nine. Look what it says. 17 and nine. I'm going to read it in NIV. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? And beyond cure. Did y'all hear that? The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Because it's separated from Yah now. They still was living, walking around. But it wasn't the same. Dead man walking. Dead woman walking. The humanity is now tainted, polluted. Everybody born after that was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And the heart is deceitful. How a person think, they believe in their thoughts. They believe in how they see things. They believe in how they do things. The first move, right, after their eyes was open, was they covered themselves their way. They saw some stuff. Now they start hiding, covering. Because the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure, who can know it? Are y'all with me? 
Now let's look at Proverbs 14 and 12. Look what this say. I'm just trying to show y'all. Look what is that. KJV. I'm back and forth, y'all. There's a way which seems right unto a man. But the end are of the ways of death. That's that's people. You think people that's out here living without Yah, you think they don't think they're doing what's right? Yeah, they think that. Stacking chips, hugging hips. Kissing lips. Whatever they doing. Going after the lust of the eye. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life. Yeah. You think you think they think they're wrong? When a person is living, when Adam and Eve went and covered themselves because they know themselves was naked, that was the thing to do in their mind. They should have been they should have been hollering for Yah. And when they heard the voice of Yah walking the garden, they should have ran to it and started repenting and all. No, they was running from the word. That's what it do. Proverbs 4, 4, 4, 14 and 12. And there's a way which seem right unto a man. Can you see the flesh condition now, y'all? There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of the ways of death. Can y'all see that now? Oh, man is in trouble. Mm-hmm. Romans 8. Let's look further. Uh, let me see where I want to go. Romans 8 and 6. Why not? Elena Franklin, good to see you in here. The Flesh and the Law, Part 5. Subtitle, Flesh Condition. Romans 8, 6. Come on, computer, quit playing with me. All right, let's ride. 6, look what it said. I'm going to do... I'm going to do, do NIV. I'm going to do NIV, 8 and 6. Look what it said. The mind, listen, the mind governed by the flesh is death. Yeah, just normal stinking thinking. How we think. Minus Yah. If you're not reconciled with Yah, you got a certain way of seeing things, doing things. Period. You think it's cool though. There's a way to seem right to a man, but the end of the world is the ways of death. Listen. The mind governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Are y'all with me? The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to Yah. Stinking thinking, the way we think. It ain't necessarily like cussing him out. You just don't agree with what he's talking about. You got a totally different way of seeing and doing things. And it don't line up with the word. Mother Katie, good to see you in here. Bless you, mother. Battle in the building, flesh and law, part five, subtitle flesh condition. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Sever, the mind governed by the flesh is hostile to Yah. It does not submit to Yah's law, nor can it do so. Did y'all hear that? The flesh condition can't be saved. Remember we read in Jeremiah 17, 9, it's beyond cure. There is no cure for it. There is no cure for it. You think you're a good person? You don't have Yah? There's no cure for it. There's no cure for it. There's no, there's no therapy for it. There's no, there's no, you know, sit down session. Call your therapist. Therapists can't 
help you. <laughs> uh, uh. I just need somebody to talk to. No. Mm -mm. No. No. You're not going to come out with eternal life. You're not going to be reconciled with the creator. It can't be helped. I'm just being honest with you. Let's read the Bible, though. Seven verse. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to Yah. And it does not submit to Yah's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please Yah. Cannot do it. What about when I'm nice to people? Cannot do it. What if I help poor, the poor? Cannot do it. It's raining. I'm going to go hand out some coats. Can't do it. No, hand out the coats, but mm -mm. ain't nothing happening. Are y'all with me? Can we go deeper? First Corinthians 2. Let's rock, y'all. Um, I'm going to start at the first verse, and I'm really going to mess with this uh, flesh condition, y'all. Look, I'm going to play with the NIV on this one, I guess. Let me see. I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try to play with it in NIV. Let's see what happens. First verse, 201. First Corinthians, 201. It says, And so it was with me, brothers and sisters. This is Paul talking, y'all. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you. I did not come with eloquency eloquence of humans wisdom as I proclaim to you the testimony of Yah right because they're different they're not the same right Leslie Sutton good to see you in here F fle uh, 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 flesh and law part 5 subtitle flesh condition 1 Corinthians 2 1 because they're totally different Right? They're totally different. You got to understand that. You know, oh, my pastor got a PhD. You know, man, go on with all that. But that, that don't mean absolutely nothing. In fact, it could hurt. That what man talking about ain't nothing. Look the crap we in. Listen. So first, so first, first, two and one. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters. When I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaim to you the testimony of Yah. Sweetheart, you're making too much noise in there for me. For I resolved to know nothing while I was while I was with you. Listen, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Yahushua HaMashiach, right? The Messiah, right? That's all. So that's all. Look, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except the Messiah and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. Right. Right. He was going through it in the flesh. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the spirit's power. Of the power of the Ruah, y'all. So that so that your flat so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on Yah's power. He didn't want to mix the thing. He didn't want folks saying, "Oh, he's sharp. Oh, he's ooh, he deep. Ooh, he look at him." No, no, nah, man. I'm not. I'm not mixing nothing. Man, talking about well, what Yah's talking about. Yeah, I'm not coming with self-righteousness, none of that. I'm separating humanity 
from, from a, 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 a child of Yah, from the spirit of Yah, from the word of Yah. I, there ain't no, ain't no, it's a gulf fix between those two. You got folks that mix it. You got folks that mix the word with their self-righteousness. And that's why I get weird. That's why people be unstable in their faith. Because they, they believe some Yah and some they pastor, or some Yah and some themselves. It's mixed. You know, speaking Yali on one hand, and then, you know, I, I can get deeper on that, but just stay with me. There's a separation. She said, I didn't come with you like that. Six verse, look what it says. It said, we do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, right? There's a way we talk when we talk with the mature folks in Yah, right? But not the wisdom of this age, not the wisdom of this world, or of the rulers of this age, nor the rulers of this world, who are coming to nothing. So this, this world is headed towards nothing fast. This place is finna be Told the heck up. That's where we headed, and we, we headed there fast. Leslie Sutton, good to see you in here. Yamina Yahoo, good to see you in here. Evelyn Blake, good to see you in here. Flesh in the Law, part five. Subtitle, Flesh Condition. First Corinthians uh, 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 2 and 7. This place is, it, it, they, they think they why. They, they think we in this wake up. Like Folks think they woke. They think we're evolving. We're evolving straight to hell. Straight to destruction. All you see is death around you. Sexual sickness is at an all-time high. Perversion. Children ain't safe. That's where we at. The bullies is here. What they call it, 15-minute city? That's the that's the that's the blueprint for Hunger Games, to whereas you can't leave your 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 sector, like if, if like 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 if you in San Leandro you can't go to Oakland, anyone O can't go to San Leandro, you can't leave. Turning this place into a giant prison right now, right up under your nose, and they're using disaster, chaos. How you paved the way for Satan through chaos. Satan's children cause chaos, and then they come up with the solution. Agenda 2030. They come up with the solution. They cause the pollution, and they come up with the solution. And the solution is to lock you down. To restrict your movement, to monitor you 100%. To control your finances, unless you accept the mark. Unless you buy down, like, like Sadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they wouldn't buy down to the music. Yeah, 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 they playing some music. You got to bow down, and then you'll be able to function in this satanic system that they set up, which is completely the opposite of Yah's kingdom. I'm just trying to tell you something. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? No, <laughs> I can go deeper, but I'm not. I'm going to stop right there for now. Anyway, seven verse. Now I'm going to read six again. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age who are coming into nothing. I will share this part. I'll switch gears and share this part and tell you that um, uh, in the Apoc Apocrypha, was it Esther 6 and 9, it says that uh, Esau is the end is the end of the world, and Yaakov or Jacob is the beginning of that which follows. Right, the punishment is here, and the Most High finna tear this up. That's why they come into nothing. He finna tear this up, and we're gonna start afresh with his children reigning with him, ruling with him. <laughs> we're in the process of that these are like the 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 the. the, the, the in, in, in Matthew's, Matthew 24, it talks about the beginning of sorrows. And if you look up sorrows, it, 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 it's contractions like a birth. 
So, it, you know, like when, when a woman is having a baby, contractions come more and more rapidly. All these wicked things have been happening, but they come in more and more rapidly. More, more, more chaos, more chaos. From the Satan's and his children's standpoint, they're bringing more chaos so they can bring this false prophet on the scene. Ha Satan. That, 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 that's they go. But that got, that got to come forth, right? So the Most High can destroy him with the brightness of his coming, right? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then we going to be born. We, his children going to come forth. I'll park right there. Six verse. We do, however, speak a, a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or other rulers of this age. They ruling satanic who are coming to nothing. No, we declare Yah's wisdom a mystery that has been hidden and that Yah destined for our glory before time began. This is all working for our good. His children, we didn't pay it our 400 years. Ending in 2019, Genesis 15, when, when Abraham had that nightmare about what was going to happen to his children and it was going to be suffered, mistreated for 400 years in this strange land. Well, they, well that, that jumped off. And then he was going to judge the land that did that to him. And then they was going to come out with great substance. Yeah, contractions. It's getting bad. It's getting worse. It's getting, they got some wicked plans. Y'all know the wicked plans. It's written in the Bible. If I shut up heaven, 2 Chronicles 7 and 13, 14. If I shut up heaven, there could be no rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mess up your food, your future food. If I send the locusts to devour, devour the land, that's your current food. If I send pestilence among my people, that's all these sicknesses and stuff they doing. If my people, which you call by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, that's what y'all want us to do, repent. I hear from heaven, I forget their sins and I hear their land. That's what he got for us. Are y'all with me? Yeah. <laughs> Seven verse. No, we declare Yah's wisdom, listen, a mystery that has been hidden, and that Yah destined for our glory. You shout glory. <laughs> Kabbalah. Before time began, none of the rulers of this age understood it. For, for if they had, they would not have crucified, right? The Adonai of glory. <laughs> they never they did that to the Messiah. You with me, Beth? They, they, went, they, 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 they messed up. They thought they, they thought they was doing something. Now that it's done, now they mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they after, they after the most highest children and even the remnant, the grafted in nations that believe in the Mashiach, that's repenting from their sins and turning back to, to the most high. And that's, that, that's in, you know, you know, you know, revelations. You know, the dragon is after the woman, chased her into the wilderness. But anyway, night first, y'all. However, listen to this. Night first, y'all. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, listen, what eye, the natural eye, the, the, this, that natural nature that we was born in, that sinful nature, them eyes can't see this. What no ear has heard. <clears throat> natural ear. We just read in the flesh condition, y'all. They, they can't hear. They can't hear. The carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It will not submit. It will not bow down to Yah. And it neither indeed can be. And it won't. No. That those eyes, a worldly person eyes, if they don't repent, they don't know nothing the heck I'm talking about right now. So waste of time. They they want to hear about some Egyptology or something, something slick and deep. They want to hear about some some, you know, you know, some food, you know what I mean? That don't have no um, heavy metals in it or something. You know, they they on something else. They try, they want to get deep. No, what what no eye has seen, what what no ear has heard, and, and, and what no human mind has conceived. Y'all heard of the human mind. What no human mind has conceived, can't do it. You got to repent. You got to be a believer. You got to bring, come on, y'all. Can see the things which Yah has prepared prepared for them that love Him. These are the things that Yah has revealed unto us by His Spirit. See, we know it. 
I heard a preacher preaching, no eyes seen, no ears heard, neither has entered the heart of man. The things that God has prepared for us. And he left it at that. It's a mystery. No, your false doctrine is mysterious to you. <laughs> no, no, no. Tenth verse. These things Yah has revealed on us. You, we both know these things. By his spirit. It's a spiritual thing. That human thought, that human wisdom to the left. Get up, get up out of here with that. The spirit searches all things, every deep, even the deep things of Yah. Uh-huh. Listen, 11 verse. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of Yah except the spirit of Yah. People know people because we peoples. A worldly person, we feel each other. We know what it is. Game recognize game. That's what we said. Well, we don't know Yah. But Yah know Yah. Yeah. And Yah is the spirit. <laughs> Yah know Yah. Yah know exactly what's happening. And if you belong to him, he's going to let you know what's happening. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? I'm going to read it again. <clears throat> 11 verse. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? Even the same way, either the same way. <clears throat> no one knows the thoughts of Yah except the spirit of Yah. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from Yah. Right? So that we may understand what Yah has freely given us. Are y'all with me? 13th verse. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in the words taught by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with spiritual taught words. The person without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of Yah, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they're discerned only through the spirit. Are y'all with me? Now, I could keep reading. This gets so deep. I could keep reading, but I'm on. Because I really would want to dive into this part a whole nother way. And I'm not about to do that right now. But y'all see the, the, the flesh condition. I want y'all to stay with me. Do y'all see the flesh condition? Right? You saw how Eve in the beginning, <clears throat> listen to the snake, Right? She got caught up in the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, so she ate. Then she handed to her husband, he ate. And then their eyes was open. <clears throat> Game changer. Mankind is doomed. Right there. Now you see that what we're working with, how we think. And you can only do by what you think. But there's a way to seem right unto a man, right? Proverbs 14, 12, right? There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of his ways of death. It ain't cool. How we think, how we move. Right? But, it, okay, I'm going to go a little deep. How much time I got? I don't want to open up a can that I can't finish. Ah, can I finish it? I'm going to mess with it. There's so much food in what I'm teaching right now that I ain't scared. I ain't going to shy away. Just real quick, Galatians 3. Let's get as much as we can before I got to go. I got about 10 minutes, if that. Do I got 10 minutes? Cut it close. I'm going to try the NIV to see how it works. <clears throat> Three and one. Look what it says. <clears throat> Look what it says. You foolish Galatians who have bewitched you before your very eyes, the Messiah was clearly betrayed as crucified. I would like, I would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the spirit, the Ruah, by the works of the law? 
or or or, or by believing what you heard? How, how did we come? How how are we in relationship with y'all right now? Because because we, we got the Ten Commandments, the commandments on stone, or did we hear the word of faith? We 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 believe we believed Yah at His word. Which one? How do how do we do that? He called them foolish because they tripping, right? Here we go. Okay, we can we can rock. Second verse. I would like to learn just one thing from you. Did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or, 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 or by believing what you heard, right? You got it, Banks. Believe what you heard. Are you so foolish? After being by means of the spirit, are you now trying to finish by the means of the flesh? And then we're going to switch, right? We're we, we going we to switch from believing Yah to now being justified by the Ten Commandments. Get mad if you want to. Folks, listen to I mean, get the truth. Your flesh, man, ain't nothing, ain't nobody mad but the devil. Shake him off. Don't let him get you. Listen, that, that, he he getting at the Galatians real heavy. Like, are you serious right now? You began believing Yah. Now, what you gonna switch up? Oh, you got to. I ain't gonna go there that deep right now. I, I had to teach it. How hard do I want to teach this? It'll come out. If it get hard, it just do. For first, look what it say. Have you experienced so much in vain? All the stuff we've been through, holding on to Yah and trusting him and believing him. Listen, have you experienced so much in vain? If it really was in vain. So again, I ask you, does, does Yah give you his spirit and, 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 and work miracles among you by the works of the law or by the believing what you heard? I'm telling you, y'all, believe in what you heard. So also, six first, y'all. So also, Abraham believed Yah. And it was credited to him as righteousness. I want y'all to get this. Um, let, me, let, me say, let me tell you this. I won't tell you this yet. I'm going to rock a little bit more. Seven verse. Understand then that those who have faith are the children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that Yah would justify the Gentiles by faith. Right? And announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. Remember we read it in Genesis 17 chapter? Announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you so that those who rely on faith are blessed among Abraham, the man of faith. Because remember, he believed Yah. He was born in sin and shaped in iniquity too. But he believed the word. He believed what Yah said. And it was counted on him for righteousness. Now, we're not doing the, uh, the Catholicized belief to where is you just believe he exists. No, the, this true belief is you believe and do. You reconcile with his word to obey it because that's where Adam went wrong. He knew he existed. They fellowshiped all the time. I'll definitely pray for you, Frank, for sure, without question. But he, he believed y'all. Are you with me? Y'all add Frank to the prayer list. He lost his baby sister. Are y'all with me? He believes Yah. Y'all listening? He believed Yah. It wasn't he was a goody two shoes. He believed Yah. That was the concealing of the relationship is he believed Yah. He, it had, it, despite his flesh condition, he believed Yah. And through believing Yah, Yah can, can rescue you from your flesh condition. That's what salvation is. It's not leaving you in your flesh condition. It's not leaving you in your flesh condition. That's where Catholicism go wrong. That's where Satan's children teach. That's that fake mess. 
through you trusting the word of Yah, he'll lead you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Because if any man being the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Back to three, y'all. Look at this. Paul is fussing with them because he loves them. Straight up. People be believing like, you know, believing is being a goody two-shoes, like verbally, per se. Let me tell you something. He getting it then. Verbally, he getting at them. You know. Folks be all emotional. That ain't God. Look how he talking to them. Man, you don't get out of here with that. Listen. Third verse, he getting at them. He said, are you so foolish? Why are you talking to me like that? Whatever. Listen, <laughs> are you so foolish? That's what he asking them. Are you so foolish? You didn't have to say that part. I hear you. Get your feelings out your head. You too carnal. You too... Casper, the friendly ghost, get what they call the Holy Ghost, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, third verse, y'all. Are you so foolish? After, after being by means of the spirit, are you now trying to finish by the means of the flesh? I wanted y'all to see that. You know why? Because of the word flesh. What what were we talking about? Do, uh, to tell you the truth, what this is talking about is them believing that now they're being justified by the works of the law. Are y'all with me? People be believing that they're that they're um, that they're justified by the works of the law, the Ten Commandments, the word of Yah on stone. That's how they trying to have a relationship with Yah especially us Hebrews that woke up to find out who we are. It was hidden who we are. Now we know who we are. And now we rushing back to keep commandments on stone. I understand that, but we got to break this thing down and get it right. Right? So with that being said, he's getting at them and say, how did you begin your salvation? Right? By the hearing of faith, by, by, by hearing and believing the word, or by the works of the law. That's what this whole argument is about right here. But you notice how in the third verse, he said, are you so foolish at the begin, be, beginning by the means of the spirit? Are you now trying to finish by the means of the flesh? What is the flesh, y'all? What is the flesh, y'all? What is the flesh, y'all? The word on stone. Ah, oh, I know y'all don't want to hear that. And why he call it flesh? Why did he say, I'm going to read it again. Are you so foolish after beginning in the spirit? Are you now trying to finish by the means of the flesh? Why did he say that? Why did he say by the means of the law? Why did he say by the means of the flesh? Why did he say by the means of the law? He didn't say by the means of the law. He said by the means of the flesh. Right? Because when you get to dealing with the commandments on stone, you, you got to keep that and never break it because there ain't no mercy in it. You break it, you die. Period. You want that? Or do you want a relationship with Yah and trust and believe him? That he's going to present you blameless and you trust him. And because you trust him, he transform you. Do you break the Ten Commandments? No, you establish them. Having a true relationship with him is better than having his word on stone. Oh, I'm trying to teach you something. It called it to flesh. The name of this series is Flesh and the Law, y'all. I'm trying to rectify for y'all. the correlation between the flesh and the law. It's closer than what you think. In this particular lesson, I really was dealing with the flesh condition. So I'm going to lean back towards that. But we'll get deeper as we go forward to understand the correlation between the flesh and the law. How do they marry?
because they married. How do that? What does that really look like? Back to flesh condition, what we've been dealing with. If there's a way to seem right onto a man, listen. There's a way to see. I got you, Frank. There's a way to seem right onto a man, listen. There's a way to seem right onto a man, but the ender of the ways of death, it seems right. It seems righteous. Let's talk about that. How much time I got? I got to go, y'all. When people are religious, please believe me, they're comfortable with it because it seemed right to them. When, when the Bible is talking about there's a way to seem right to a man, it's talking about what Adam and Eve did. They, they thought it was right that they got the leaves and covered themselves. They thought that was right. That wasn't right. Because when the word came, they ran from the word. They, they came up with their own solution. No, we need the word. The word is our solution. Not you feeding people. Not you feed. If you if you under the influence of his word, you will feed people. You will give out coats. You will love. You will you'll do all that. But that's not your means of salvation. Your means of salvation is to be reconciled and trusting him. I'm trying to tell you because the flesh condition is fallen. And it can't get up. And if you go under the law trying to lift your flesh up, you wasting your time. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to teach? Why I talk to flesh condition? Put a four in here if y'all understand what I'm trying to say to you. Come on, talk back to me. Talk back to me. Put a phone here. Put a phone here if y'all with me. Put a phone. Put a phone. Y'all understand? Rod, good to see you in here. Bless you. Bless you, sir. Put it for y'all understand what I'm trying to say. The flesh condition, there's no salvation in the flesh, y'all. And you gotta understand. Well, we're gonna keep teaching. This is just part five. We'll, we'll get it. Bless you. Bless you, sir. But we, 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 we'll get it. The flesh condition, we're falling and we can't get up. But the beautiful thing is, is how the most high picked us up is we're falling and we can't get up. So he allowed that joker that couldn't get up to be baptized into his death. Get, get, get rid of him. Let him be baptized to his death according to Romans the 6th chapter. So we can rise up to walk in the newness of life, being born again in him. Now we got a new attitude. We got a faith in his word. We, we, we're not perfected in the flesh. The flesh has already been judged. It's hostile against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah. Neither indeed can be. We got to let that go. Now we got to turn to him and trust him for the resurrection. And his resurrection only comes through his word. Us being reconciled with his word. The problem, listen, I got to go, y'all. Eddie Alexander, good to see you in here. The problem is this, y'all. The, the, what I have with the average Christianity or Catholicism, big problem with Catholicism, don't get it twisted, with all the idols and all that. But listen to this, though. The problem that I have is it, I don't have a problem with them understanding that we're helpless and we're sinners and all what they say, because that part is true. But they they mess, mess up when they don't preach the resurrection right. It wasn't just the Messiah that was resurrected. Every believer is resurrected to walk in the newness of life. Our old nature was supposed to be baptized into his death so we can rise up to walk in the newness of life. And they are separate. You don't mix them. I'm not a sinner saved by grace. I'm an ex-sinner because of his grace. That sinful nature is baptized into his death. Now I can rise up to walk in the newness of life. Now I can obey the word because the stone is gone. The stone represents our stony hearts. His word on stone represents the death of mankind, the judgment of mankind. But when you remove the stone, I'll teach it. I'll teach it. I gotta go. 
But when you remove the stone, now the word is written on the tables of our heart. Now we're new and we have a relationship with our father. Now our spirit is crying, Abba, Father, I'm trying to talk to you. I hope y'all got that. I hope y'all got that. Flesh condition. Flesh in the law, part five. Subtitle, flesh condition. Our flesh condition, no. Get out of the flesh. And, let, and let's be married back in the spirit, in the Ruach, with his word, with his word. If y'all with that, put a five. If y'all with it, you said you understood. Five on it. Five. Five. Let's pray. Spirit of living, Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbies know how clinging to you, loving you, thanking you for even deeper revelation, understanding concerning your word. Give us the Ruah. Give us your spiritual word. We want to connect it with your word, the word that we heard. We want to hide it in our heart that we might not sin against it. Oh, we love you. Resurrect us. Keep us. Bless Frank even right now in the loss of his sister. Bless the family even right now. Uh, continue to encourage his heart. Uh, bless him for even having the mind to still come listen to the word, even in a time like this. That's what we do. We, we, we neglect the flesh to be resurrected in the Ruah, in the spirit. We love you even for this, and we thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we only pray. Hallelujah. That's it, y'all. That, 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 that's how we live. Thank y'all uh, uh, for chiming in. I pray you were blessed. Thank everybody that pushed the share button. You're sharing, sharing your platforms with, with, with the truth of the word. And uh, may the most high bless you for that. Thank everybody that tagged because you invite people to come. They might hear a word that changed their life. Call them out of the dark to enter the marvelous light and be alive forevermore moving forward. So thank everybody that tagged and thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. Uh, the only thing I say about that part is so where you grow. If you don't grow, why would you sell? No, if the word is not, come on, y'all. That's it. Thank y'all. Y'all want to talk about the lesson? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. If y'all want to talk about, give commentary on this lesson, you dial that number. Uh, keep that number because there's noonday prayer. Monday through Friday on that number. All right? Y'all should be hearing me. Y'all permit tomorrow, 1130 Pacific Standard Time for the Shabbat service. I love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.